Looks like Kessler's keeping the ray sphere in the old examiner building. Gonna be a bitch getting to it, though. 78 seconds. So what's the plan? I've got a canister of fentanyl rigged to the bottom of the chopper. Should incapacitate everyone inside. Unfortunately, Kessler's got anti-air guns on the surrounding buildings, and they'll tear me apart long before I get into position. 57 seconds. So I take out the guns, and you gas those bastards, and we go in and get the sphere? Exactly. Now we only get one shot at this. So get over there and destroy those guns. Okay. Uh, pretty easy mess, uh, mission for the most part. They're hitting targets all across the city, preparing the way for a ground invasion. I warned you that if I lost control, they'd escalate things. You shouldn't have reneged on our deal. You're not pinning this on me, Moya. I already have. Yeah. So, um, this is, uh, pretty much the last real mission of the game. And it's not that long, or that particularly tough. Um, the time limit on in the mission is pretty lenient. So, all you gotta do is just go over to these, uh, marked houses. Need to hit with some real power. Uh, turrets on the roof. And you're gonna have to use your lightning strike to take them down. And as you can see there, I wasn't close enough at all to get to the to get my lightning strike to actually get to the building, so you're gonna have to be have right up on it. Bomb, so this is our only chance. Take out those guns before they blow me out of the sky. Yeah. Um John's gonna nag you the entire mission if you're not fast enough, so you just charge on through and get this mission done with. Um Hmm. I'll probably make a note of it later on because it's going to be a, a two-parter video. Uh, the end of this mission has a very, very, very important karma choice. It is the most important karma choice in the game, just Take about. A fire call. Destroy those guns. And depending on what karma route you're taking, this can be either really good, really bad, as in really, really bad. So I will say this, I'm not going to spoil what the karma choice is, but I will say this, if you're playing the good route, and you pick the evil karma choice for this, it will automatically make you infamous, and it will also lock you into infamous. As in, once you pick evil on that karma choice, you will never be able to become good again. It will lock out the good part of your karma meter. Period. And if you're playing evil, you know, you might want to um, pick the evil choice because it will completely max out your infamous gauge. You'll become evil forever, just about. And you won't. Whoa. Looks like my. Wow. Analog got stuck there. Um, if you're playing the evil route, you'll be stuck as evil. However, if you planned on not making a second playthrough or taking another, uh, uh, going another playthrough, and you wanted to, uh, uh, during the post game, go from evil to good, then you might not want to pick that choice. That's the last of them. Now get away from the building. I want you breathing in this crap. So I would actually suggest um, making two save files. Because there is there is some benefit for picking the evil choice. Um, if you pick the evil choice at the end of this mission, uh, your battery core meter, I want to say, doubles, as in it gets twice as long as it is now, which is huge, huge. But no matter, like I said, no matter what, it makes you evil. Period which might not be what you're looking for. Especially if you don't plan on make, doing another playthrough as good to get all those good power-ups and whatever. Damn it. We weren't fast enough. They loaded the race sphere onto a truck. Now I'm gonna keep them in my sights. You follow as quickly as you can. Alright, so now this has just turned into a destroy the turret mission into a follow that truck mission. 
So go on and follow that truck or the chopper. It's probably easier to follow the chopper. Now, this is going to be one of those harder race missions as you're going to be following this truck for a real long time. Uh, and you're going to be chasing it over an island. Or over to another island. Get the lead out. I don't know, I was not a fan of these uh, race to the finish kind of missions just because it's hard enough to transverse these uh, buildings anyway. And then you're just going to infiltrate this small bridge area over here. And, uh, it's not too tough. And it's nothing that you haven't handled before. Just be careful. I've got a boat inbound. Probably trying to take advantage of the fact that water will kill you. I've got fuel leaking all over the place, so you've got to catch up to us or we're going to lose the sphere again. Yeah, there's a huge litter of landmines behind that building, so just shot the floor. <coughs> Damn, gas grenades. But yeah, take these dudes out. They're not too particularly tough, and the cover works in your favor as well as theirs. If you ever just get in trouble, go ahead and use your barrier. Yeah, and there's a turret behind the corner, but that's why you have your barrier. That's also why you have your lightning strike, too. That's, that's pretty much it for this video. After this video, um, it's the final boss of the game. So, well, no, no. Two more videos, and then the final boss of the game. So. Oh, whoa. Someone forgot to edit out a death. Oh well. I think that's like my third unedited death in this entire walkthrough. Sorry about that, guys.